ان شاء الله تكونوا بخير اعزائي الطلبه اليوم راح اقدم لكم المحاضره الاخيره في سلسله الارثميا نتكلم حول البرادي ارثميز تكلمنا على التاكي ارثميز بالمحاضره السابقه الان هتكلم على البرادي ارثميز I will start to share my screen this type of arrhythmias the types of the brother arrhythmias we will talk a little bit about heart blocks uh, on overview on bundle branch blocks we will talk later on on vasovagal syncope character science hypersensitivity and at the end we'll talk about the pacemakers and what are the pacemakers now what are the symptoms احنا مثل ما تعرفون قلنا سابقا انه تك arrhythmias brother arrhythmias اكو بعض السيمتومز تكون بيناتهم شير يعني تتشابه وياها اوكي احنا الفكره من البرادي ريتميز من كل الهارت ريت اقل من 60 يعني يوصل 40 30 اكيد راح يقل الكارديك اوتبوت فاكيد راح يصير المريض عنده سينكوب او نير سينكوب نسميه بري سينكوبل اتاك بري سينكوبل يعني الفتره ما ما قبل ما يوقع المريض يحس نفسه دايخ يريد يطيح يصير عنده سواد بعينه هذا هو البري سينكوب سينكوب هو فقدان الوعي التام Uh, the syncope that is caused by bradyarrhythmias is called Stokes Adams attack. Dizziness is another uh, term. And the magenna the pre syncope eradif kilmet dizziness. And sudden death also can be a symptom of bradyarrhythmia, especially when the patient has a complete arrest of the heart or complete heart to block with very severe bradyarrhythmia. Continuous bradycardia without systolic pauses may produce symptoms of fatigue. Lethargy, dyspnea, or mental impairment, especially in old age. So this is definitely going to lead to high symptoms because of low cardiac output. Now we'll talk about the first uh, category in the bradyarrhythmia arrhythmia uh, lecture, which is the sinusoidal disease, sick sinus syndrome. With the matter of fact, sinus node is the pacemaker of the heart. So it begins the electrical impulse from. The, from its uh, to the uh, to the rest of the heart, it is located at the uppermost lateral right atrium near to the superior vena cava. And whenever there is a problem in this sick sinus, uh, in this sinus node, the afu, راح يأثر على عمله وهي بالتالي راح يأثر على القابلية إنه يتكون بها الامبولسز وتسوي النورمال هارت ريت. فأكيد راح يصير عند المريض برادي برادي كارديا أو مرات أيضا سيستوليك بوزز. It, this disease is more common in elderly because of the high risk of fibrosis and fibrotic changes that occur in the node. Um, the symptoms of bradycardia uh, can occur and uh, bradycardia can manifest as sinus bradycardia or sinus arrest or even AV block. Sometimes AV block can be associated with sinus node disease. Tachycardia sometimes can, uh, can associate this sinus disease. Uh, ولهذا نسميه احنا تاكي برادي سندروم يعني برادي كارديا سعده وفي اثناء اخرى سعده تاكي كارديا ك... كتعويض على البرادي كارديا فهذا التاكي كارديا ممكن كان بي مانيفست از اي اتريال فيبريليشن اور سوبر سوبر فينتيكال تاكي كارديا لايك اتريال تاكي كارديا لايك اذر اذر فورمز اوف سوبر فينتيكال تاكي كارديا سمتايمز ساينس اريست كان بي ذا هول مانيفستيشن اوف ساينوتريال ديزيز The treatment of choice in sinusoidal disease is pacemaker. يعني إحنا بالمستقبل من شخص المريض اللي عنده sinusoidal disease either by ECG which is rarely done. عادة إحنا نشخص أما إنه يجينا أثناء الحالة which is also rare. Sometimes he present with this these symptoms at home. So when he presents to us, we have to check for it. How we check? We have to check for the any abnormal rhythm by by loop, by halter monitoring, uh, up to even seven days sometimes. There are some machines, semagina, up to one, two, three days, has a frequency of the symptoms. Even sometimes we cannot check, check it by the ordinary halter. You have to uh, put him on event loop recorder, uh, event recorder, or loop recorder. abnormal rhythm that occurs during the attack. The treatment of choice of this disease is pacemaker. We have to insert a pacemaker that we'll talk later in the lecture. Pacemaker are certain uh, tiny, uh, uh, they, they are tiny instruments uh, invented in order to 
to overcome the abnormal pacing of the heart and become the the, the main pacemaker okay it will pace the heart in order to uh, reach it to the normal level of uh, of ca cardiac uh, contraction this is uh, an example of uh, the six sinus disease you can see here this is a sinus beat p wave qrs t wave atrial topic here there's junctional beat here junctional beat because there is not uh, preceded by a p wave okay this is a sinus bradycardia you can see here at this uh, strip the third strip bradycardia p wave موجوده qrs موجوده بس الريت كلش قليل يعني حد لحد 20 تقريبا beat per minute and the fourth strip you can see here that there is a sinus arrest so uh, there is a beat and after that a very sin uh, very long sinus arrest here during which the patient might collapse or present with syncope then it turn turn to return back to normal and the patient will return back to normal atrial fibrillation sometimes some as can be associated with the sinusoidal disease so atrial fibrillation also is a manifestation of sinusoidal disease we have to put this in mind especially in old age المريض الأداء atrial fibrillation يقول لك عندي symptoms of syncope you have to suspect the tachybrady syndrome okay now what about the um, the other features of atrial uh, of bradycardia other diseases or other manifestations we have the atrioventricular block av block مثل ما قلنا احنا هذا المربع هو sinus node وهذا المكان هذا هو ال av node فالسينس نود اذا صارت مشكله هنا راح نسميه سينس نود ديزيز اذا صارت مشكله بالاي في اي في نود راح يسوي سيرتن ديجريز اوف بلوك ذات كان بي كاتيجورايز انتو 3 جريدز فيرست ديجري سكند ديجري اند ثيرد ديجري وين ذا بيشنت هاز بلوك هير ذا امبولسز ويل بي اوب ذير ويل بي ان اوبستيكل هير تو بروباجيت ذا امبولسز اند ترانسميت ات فروم ذا اتريوم تو ذا فينتريكل ذس ويل ليد تو ايذر Uh, poor conduction or delayed conduction or even non-conduction of the impulses from the atrium to the ventricle. مثل ما تعرفون ال PR interval هذا بدا من بداية ال P إذا ال R wave هو تقريبا uh, تقريبا هو أقل من 200 ملي سكند هذا النورمال إذا يعبر ال 200 ملي سكند هذا راح يبدي ال راح تعطينا فكرة إنه patient عنده uh, diseased AV node. that there will be extra delay uh, of the impulses and this uh, uh, important structure of the heart uh, after, uh, then it will uh, give it, uh, give the electricity to the ventricle يعني كل ما كان ال PR interval prolonged اكثر من 200 اعتبره هذا abnormal اوكي ممكن نقول عليه heart block اللي هو first degree راح نحكي فيه شويه what are the causes of AV block there are <coughs> multiple causes here anything that uh, slows the impulses in the ventricle either can be physiological like vagal tone when there's a high vagal tone it will cause first degree second degree sometimes even sometimes third degree it can cause degenerative when the patient has fibrosis at the av you know, because of aging process or calcification by nearby aortic valve all of these can lead to uh, to block of the av node autoimmune disease like enclosing spondylitis right or syndrome Uh, neonatal lup lupus hematosis, uh, okay, uh, are associated with AV block also. Infiltration or infective, infiltrative like sarcoidosis, hemochromatosis, and even endocarditis. If it is nearby structure infected, it can affect the AV node. Acute ischemia, especially in acute infarction, inferior infarction, for example, or anterior infarction. I mean, it's not uncommon to see uh, heart blocks in patients with myocardial infarction. Uh, it can be either transient or it even can be a permanent surgical cause. I mean, it's a cardiac surgery. Trauma to the AV node or after ablation, for example, uh, by the AP study, it can lead to AV block. Drugs also that uh, decrease the uh, transmission of uh, or the function of the AV node, like digoxin, beta blocker, calcium channel blockers, or other antiarrhythmics. If they are given in high doses or in combination, it can lead to AV block also. So these are important causes you have to put in mind. This is the ECG of the patient with first degree AV block. You can see here that the PR interval is more than uh, 200 milliseconds, يعني تقريبا uh, أو 0.2 second, يعني تقريبا 0.34 second, أو 340 milliseconds. فلهذا نقول عليه هذا first degree AV block. نشوف المريض عنده 
prolonged PR interval. Okay. What about the second degree AV block? Second degree AV block is a more, uh, more, uh, more severe degree of uh, AV block more than the first degree. We have two types of second degree AV block. We have type one and type two. Type one, which is called Mobitz type one, uh, or Winkiebach phenomena. Okay, Winkiebach phenomena. The PR interval becomes progressively longer until one P wave is totally blocked and produces no QRS. Yeah, and you the show phone in our beat, Thani B, third beat, we are actually about. Show for our beat, the show for PR interval, Takriban, Ila had Moyen. The second beat, you can't see the PR interval here is more longer. You can see here the PR interval is prolonging. The third beat, the PR interval is more long. Okay, so there is progressive prolongation of the PR interval until in the fourth beat, we can see the P wave is not followed by a QRS and there is a P. Uh, and there's a block here okay or blocked beat after that there comes another p wave and another uh, series of uh, or circle cycle of prolongation of the pr interval followed by uh, uh, a blocked p wave and uh, hard to block and semi any and shuf bas aku p wave bas maku wara ha qrs hada nsemi mobitz type 1 aw semi wonky bach phenomena according to the sign scientist uh, who have um, discovered this Mobitz type 2, second degree, I have hard to block. The Mobitz type 1 is that PR interval do not change. Yani there is no progressive prolongation. PR interval is not changed. Okay? But what do you think? On the P wave, there is not, it's not followed by QRS. On the dropped beat. On the left, okay? Maybe it will be B to beat. We can say 2 to 1 block. Okay? And two P waves and one block and one uh, QRS. And semi two to one block, or in semi, yani who in semi who the Mobitz type two, اللي هو the main type, the main type, اللي هو نشوف على all of a sudden there is P wave is not conducted to the ventricle to produce a QRS. So look at this QRS, first beat P O I P wave, second beat P wave and mark QRS وراها, third beat a copy wave, fourth beat a copy wave, fifth beat a copy wave بس ما كو QRS وراها. Okay, the Shufun PR interval is it is not changing here. You can see here how they are constant. Okay, that is not progressively pro prolonged like in type one, Mobitz type one or Winkiebach phenomena. Okay, and semi Winkiebach phenomena. Here, la type two, the Shufu should be clear that the PR, the P wave is not conducted all of a sudden, and it will produce this heart block. طبعا هذا ال type is more uh, serious than the type one, okay. The type one, we can see physiological, uh, the children, we see the athletes, they have high vagal tone, and we see them in the morning. Sometimes, the morning, they are there. And this is normal phenomenon. No, I don't see any symptoms. This is because of the winky bug or type one. But when the type two, I don't see any symptoms, and it indicates more severe uh, grade of disease. Okay. So this is Mobius type one. We see it. شوفوا هذا بال بالتخطيط الاول موبس تايب 1 واضح اوكي بروجريسيف برولونجيشن موبس تايب 2 ذير از نو بروجريسيف برولونجيشن بات اول اوف سادن ذير از ا دروب بيت بي ويف از نوت كوندكتد تو كيو ار اس اند ذا ثيرد تايب اللي هو هم يعتبر تايب اوف سكند ديجري نسمي 2 تو 1 بلوك نشوف انا افري 2 2 بي ويف 1 كيو ار اس 2 بي ويف كيو ار 1 كيو ار اس انا نسمي 2 تو 1 بلوك Okay. Now, هذا فد ملخص ال electrical skeleton كلكم تعرفون هذا AV node هذا the bundle of his ويتفرع إلى two تاي إلى two branches the left bundle branch and the right bundle branch. Okay. The left it comes from left posterior and left anterior fascicle. When I'm at third degree heart block, when there is a complete cessation and complete um, uh, uh, cessation of the impulses to to transmit from the atrium to the ventricle يعني قطع تام صار هذا سمي AV block or complete AV block شح يصير بالحالة هاي the atrium will contract alone and the ventricle will contract alone in its own rate the atrium has a certain rate and the ventricle has a certain rate on the surface ECG how can you discover it and diagnose it when you see that the P wave is not related to QRS Look at here. The P waves 
are not related to the QRS. So we call this, we call this what? We call this AV dissociation. Atrioventricular dissociation. يعني الاتريا ما لها علاقة بالventricle. It is dissociated. Okay. The atrial rate, it is approximately 80. Atrial rate. These are the P waves. But the QRS, it is approximately 40. So all of them are regular. The ventricle rate is regular, but it has its own rate, which is bradycardia rate, and the P waves has its own rate also. When the AV node is blocked, what will happen? The third will be blocked. The SA node is blocked. The AV node is blocked. The third will be 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 blocked. راح تولد كهرباء بس كل ما كان اكثر جو بالفنتركل يعني مور ديستل البلوك كل ما كان العفو كل ما كان ديستل البيس ميكر يعني البيركنجي فايبرز وغيرها راح يكون البي ويفز راح تكون مور برولونجد كيو ار اس وايد كيو ار اس اند ريت ويل بي مور براديكارديك يعني يوصل 20 ل 40 تقريبا اوكي okay. فهذا هو الكومبليت هارت بلوك اند ذس از ذا موست سينستر A serious type of heart blocks. Look at this: the P waves in red and the QRS in blue. Okay, how, look at how the P waves are more rapid than the QRS. Why? Because the P waves who have a normal rate, more sinus and more fully, and all the, يعني يمر على طريق the AV node ويولد لنا QRS. بس بما إنه QRS بدأ يتولد عن طريق ال النورمال يعني ترانسميشن اوف امبلس فراح يتولد الكيو ار اس عن طريق الاذر جنريتورز اوكي ان ذا الاي في نوت اور ان ذا ديستال تو ذا اي في نوت فلهذا راح يصير هذا الكومبليت اي في ديسوشيشن اند ذس تيبيكال ديسوشيتد بي ويز فروم ذا كيو ار اس ذس از انذر اي سي جي 12 ليد اي سي جي وذ كومبليت هارت بلوك يو كان سي هير هاو ذا ار ديسوشيتد And look at the QRS. The QRS here is narrow QRS. The show form واضح جدا. شنو معناها؟ من شو بني يقول لي شنو معناها؟ إحنا إذا narrow QRS معناها the impulse is coming out from the AV node. Okay? يعني نودل ده يطلع out from the his bundle. بينما إذا كان wide QRS إحنا قلنا بنسميه هذا شنو؟ The impulse is تطلع from the infrahis. Okay? Infrahis يعني from the more distal. فهذا معناها هنا uh, this condition of AV block is less serious than that which produce wide QRS okay because uh, the, the, the impulse generation is from the infrahis or from the Purkinje fibers this is what is called the heart block poem فد يعني فد uh, شعر بالإنجليزي ممكن تشوفه أو تقرأه حتى تحفظ تحفظ ال تحفظ ال السيناريوز أو the heart blocks. طبعاً in the complete heart block أكو فد أكو فد waves بال JVP نسمو canon waves canon waves هذا pathognomonic when you see it and this indicates that there is AV dissociation there is atrioventricular dissociation شنو canon waves مثل ما تعرفون the atrium the right atrium when it beats it will lead to opening of the AV the the tricuspid valve ويوصل لوين البلط الى الرايت فنتركل والرايت فنتركل كونتراكشن يطير البوم ارتري وين ذير از كومبليت هارت بلوك وات ويل هابن ذا فنتركل ويل كونتراكت نوت ريليتد تو ذا اتريوم سو ذا رايت اتريوم ويل كونتراكت اند ذا رايت فنتركل ويل كونتراكت اند ذير از نو سينكروني بين ذيم يعني ما لها علاقه يعني مو واحده تجي ورا الاخرى لا الاتريوم يجوز احتمال اثنيناتن ويل كونتراكت ات ذا سيم تايم اوكي سو When the atrium contracts and the ventricles contracting, this means what? The tricuspid valve is closed. The ventricle in contraction, they say, be the tricuspid valve is closed. So if the atrium is contracting also and the tricuspid valve is closed, when will go the 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 blood? Where it will go? It will not go to the ventricle because the tricuspid valve is closed. It will go backwards into the superior vena cava and to the JVP. Okay. راح يشاح يسوي راح يسوي لنا فد فيري بيج بلوش اوف بلود اند كانما مثل فد علوة كلش كبيرة تصير بالجي في بي هاي نسميها الكانون ويفز ات كان بي ريجولار بيكوز 
uh, it is uh, this synchrony between the ventricle and the atrium will be irregular and uh, the atrium will contract against a closed valve this will lead to backward pressure of the wave of the atrium into the into the uh, superior vena cava or to the to the jvp and you can see here uh, although it is a stationary picture we can see here that uh, the jvp here is very raised اثناء الويف طبعا وعاده الجي في بي از نوت ريزد بس لما يكون اكو هذا الكانون ويفز راح يكون فد فيري بيج كونتراكشن كانما حشوفون اوف ذا جي في بي بيكوز اوف ذيس كانون ويفز وي سي ات يوزوالي ان اني اي في ديسوشيشن اتريو فنتريكل ديسوشيشن وين نشوف الاي في ديسوشيشن اب تو كونديشنز واحده منهم هو الكومبليت هارت بلوك واحد وش كونديشن الثانيه هي وين بالفنتريكل تاكيكارديا اللي تذكرون Ventricular tachycardia can be associated also with uh, um, IV dissociation, and this will lead to uh, canon waves also. Now, what is Adam Stokes attack? Yes, Adam Stokes attack is a sudden collapse into unconscious state due to a disorder of heart rhythm, in which there is a slow or absent pulse resulting in syncope or fainting with or without convulsions. The resulting lack of blood flow to the brain is responsible for the faint. What other causes? anything that will lead to decrease in the perfusion of the brain, decrease in the cardiac output like a systole, a yani flat line, there is nothing, heart is not moving, or heart to block, or severe bradycardia, or VT or VF, okay? How the patient will clinically be, the clinically the patient, yani mujik had the complete heart to block, or at the six sinus syndrome, so at the systole, or at the VT or VF, show and jikil marid, mithil matarfoon, marid rahi koon, راح يكون dead like picture okay he will be very pale with cardiopulmonary arrest okay for a few seconds for a few seconds طبعا هي كانت طبعا transient or transitionary okay uh, transient yeah, the patient will have transient مثلا 10 seconds and the assistor راح يكون بهالحاله هاي واقع مثل الميت لا نفس ولا هاي لما يرجع النبض مالته ورجع البيتنج اوف ذا هارت تلقائيا او عن طريق uh, your intervention okay the patient will have a blush and the cardiac output will return back to normal and the patient يرجع لونه الطبيعي ويصحى ويقعد ويحكي وياه يقول لك شنو صار بيه ما يتذكر شنو صار اوكي okay. خلال هالثواني او ما يعبر المفروض ثلاث دقائق تعرفون ثلاث دقائق the brain will damage and the patient will die so uh, these are seconds seconds of this transient uh, abnormal rhythm either tachy or bradi it will lead to what is called the Adam Stokes attack. These are the two scientists from Britain, I think, uh, who have discovered or de described this uh, uh, clinical uh, condition. So it come Mr. McGinnis from the, from the tachy systolic or bradi systolic or mixed tachy and bradi. Okay, the acute management of bradycardia when the patient is hemodynamic. Uh, Compromised. Yeah, and patient either at the symptoms, then high doche, yoga, fainting, or the other things that you see. patient is bradycardiac, but not the asymptoms, he has to react, 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 Isoprenaline also will increase the cardiac output. It will increase the sympathetic uh, stimulation of the heart. Or we use temporary pacemaker, external or transvenous. Temporary pacemaker is a temporary minisma. يعني بشكل مؤقت إن شكل عدد المريض في حال أنه أكو عدد normal bradi rhythm. Okay, with the severe symptoms, they start the fainting. They start the symptoms severe that uh, brings him to the hospital. We have to put this temporary. مثلا ما أخذ أدوية أو عدد فد ischemia. هاي نعتقد انه هذا هو ترانزيانت كوز يعني ممكن يختفي اذا عالجنا الكوز نحط له تمبر بيس ميكر ما نحط له بيرمنت بيس ميكر بيرمنت بيس ميكر نحط له من اكو بيرمنت كوز مثلا عندك فايبروسس او عنده سيرجيكال فور اكزامبل كات صار او بيشنت تعتقد انه اكو فلتره ديزيز او وات ايفر هابند تو ذا اي في نود وي اور تو ذا اس اي نود وي بوت Uh, permanent pacemaker. بينما temporary pacemaker نحطها عادة للمرضى اللي تعتقد انه هو اكو فد transient transient cause that will it will be uh, treated. So we use temporary pacemaker. 
This is a temporary pacemaker, either transcutaneous. We put it here on the uh, on the skin here, around, uh, above the heart, and connected to the pulse generator and giving a big impulse. But this is annoying and not used anymore now. And this is what's called the transvenous uh, temporary pacemaker. Either we enter it from the subclavian vein, or from the femoral vein to uh, from the through the superior vena cava or from the inferior vena cava. Al fikra no nasal the right atrium, the right ventricle. Here al fikra. On the way the lead, this lead moves to this generator. In خلي على ال ال pulse the ريدة مثلاً 60 70 beats per minute. في حيث المريض يقوم يشتغل الهارت ما تعتمد على هذا الجهاز. Now IV block complicating acute myocardial infarction. مثل ما قلنا. The IV block can be a complication of myocardial infarction because ischemia, edema, um, uh, lead to uh, uh, abnormal function of the AV node and lead to complete heart block. Usually, in fear myocardial infarction, usually it is a transient uh, process because of increase in the vagal tone. And uh, if symptomatic, we can use atropine or transvena uh, temporary pacemaker. Temporary pacemaker. لانه اعتقد انه هذا الانفيرا ام اي ممكن الفيجل تون ويل بي ابوليشد اند ذا هارت ويل ريتيرن باك تو نورمال بات ذا سيتويشن از نوت سيميلر ان انتيرا مايكارد انفكشن وير ذير از مور اكستنسيف دامج اند اسكيميا تو ذا تو ذا سراوندنج تيشوز انكلودنج ذا اي في نوت اند ذا بيشنت مايت نيد ا بيرمنت بيس ميكر ان ذيس كونديشن What about the chronic AV block? Chronic AV block. هذا اللي هو نستخدم the permanent pacemaker. نعتقد أنتقد إنه هو the condition is chronic and the patient will not turn back to its normal rhythm by its own unless we put an external assist for this for this patient. Either we use it in symptomatic bradyarrhythmias or clomopis type two, second degree heart block, or third degree heart block, regardless of the symptoms. Now, the first degree heart block. 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 A patient who has type one heart block, اللي هو prolonged PR interval, or Mobus type two, second degree, Mobus type, Mobus type one. Sorry, here it's not Mobus type two. Wrongly, sorry, I'm sorry. Mobus type one. Yeah, the Winkybach phenomenon. Or type one heart block, and the patient's asymptomatic. Usually, you don't put a pacemaker for this patient unless the patient has symptoms. Okay, and usually they don't have symptoms. But if they have symptoms and they have type one heart block. Or type two heart to block, morbid type one or morbid type one. It's wrong here. I will uh, I will fix it. Okay. Uh, usually it uh, does not need pacemaker. What about the bundle branch block? With the matter of fact, we have said his bundle. He he he. He's far away. He's right bundle. He he supplies right ventricle and the left bundle supplies the left ventricle, and it is also subdivided into. Posterior fascicle and anterior fascicle. Okay. Depolarization proceeds through the slow myocardial route in the in the affected ventricle rather than through the rapidly conducting pericardial pericardial fibers that constitute the bundle branches. شاهسير يعني فرضا عندك هذا right هذا هنا خلينا نشوفه هنا أنا عندنا شنو أن the left bundle is blocked here the هذا منطقة السوداء اللي شوفوها فالimpulse راح يدخل عن طريق the right ventricle right bundle. اوكي عن طريق الرايت بندل وين راح يروح؟ راح يروح بعدين عن طريق الرايت بندل يروح لللف بندل بس عن طريق المايوكارديال فايبرز نوت ثرو ذا بيركنجي فايبرز لانه اللف بندل از بلوكت اتس نوت ترانسميتنج ذا نورمال امبلس تو ذا اتس بيركنجي فايبرز راح يروح من الرايت فنتركل تو ذا لف فنتركل اوكي عن طريق المايوكارديال فايبرز هاي المايوكارديال فايبرز مثل ما قلنا اتس نوت نوت سبيشاليز الكتريكال Uh, conductive tissue, so it needs more time to propagate. It can propagate electricity, but not as fast as a Purkinje. But shall I say, I say, more time to depolarize the left ventricle. So I say, widening of the QRS. Okay, because of this more time taking, it will be translated on the ECG by a wide QRS. Okay, so we can see here that this is a normal. This is a right bundle branch block V1. Okay. R S R pattern, or uh, or what here we have uh, a, uh, a wide S wave here. Okay. خلنا نشوف هنا أنا هنا أنا عندنا لب بندر بانش بلوك شلون تبين هنا أنا بالفي سكس هيكون راح تكون 
uh, M shaped like and wide okay نشوفكم هنا أنا أوضح يمكن شوية left under branch block اللي حيكون widening of the QRS where in the left leads اللي هي lead 1 lead uh, V6 AVL and positive okay فتكون M shaped top and wide بينما ال right under branch block راح يصير wide هم يعني wide and uh, positive in in uh, V1 V1 which is the right leads ال V1 إلى V3 هو ال right leads فيكون ال M shaped راح تكون positive and wide here in the V1 بينما ال left under branch block راح تكون positive and M shaped in lead 1 أوكي okay? هذا هو في 12 lead ECG 12 lead ECG showing the left bundle branch. Look at the lead one and AVL. They are wide and M shaped. Okay. So we call this a bundle branch block, left bundle branch block. QRS duration is more than 120 milliseconds. And and V1, which are the right leads, these are the right leads. V1, V2, V3 are the right leads. Send me. Lead one, AVL are the left leads. If I'm going positive with left leads, and send me left bundle branch block. We call negative bill right leads and send me a main right bundle branch block. So we call QS pattern. That is QS wave. Okay. And the V6 also is considered as a left uh, lead. So uh, it's also M shaped and wide here. So we have lead one, AVL, and V6 are left leads and showing R wave and positive waves and wide. Okay, with M shaped. So we call this left bundle branch block. But now right bundle branch block, when we when the V1 to V3, which are the right leads, are showing positive waves and wide QRS here, okay? M-shaped. So we call this it will come back from the other ventricle, but through the normal myocardial tissue. Uh, this will lead to more slowing down of the um, impulse and uh, widening of the QRS and the difference between the right bundle and the left bundle branch block on the ACG. Right bundle branch block طبعاً, can be normal variant. We can see it in normal people. I will show a patient with right ventricle hypertrophy or strain like in pulmonary embolism or congenital heart disease when there is uh, increase in the uh, uh, flow in the right side like in atrial, uh, atrial septal defect, ASD. Or coronary artery disease, okay, CAD. But now the left bundle branch block, usually it is abnormal, usually. Uh, it can be a manifestation of ischemia or hypertension or aortic valve disease or cardiomyopathy. Sometimes the anterior fascicle, we said the left bundle, left bundle is coming in posterior and anterior bundle, okay? When the posterior only is blocked, not the whole left bundle, on the posterior is blocked, this will lead that this look, look at the propagation comes to the atria, to the to the to the anterior fascicle, and going back to the posterior fascicle. So it will uh, cause a right axis deviation by ECG. While the other here, if the patient has anterior fascicle is blocked here, and the impulse coming to the posterior fascicle and returning back to the uh, anterior fascicle. It will cause left axis deviation. For the difference between them, if we see a anterior hemi block, we call it anterior hemi block. We will see a patient with left axis deviation on the ECG. But the posterior hemi block will show a right axis deviation on the ECG. Okay. What does it mean by fascicular block? By fascicular block, for example, a patient with right bundle is blocked, and uh, uh, the, uh, the anterior or the posterior fascicle is blocked also. So there is two fascicles are blocked, the right, the right bundle and either the, uh, the anterior or the posterior fascicle. Trifascular block, when there is a block in the right bundle brand, bundle and a block in either the anterior or posterior fascicle and a block also into the AV node. I mean, so we have yeah, first degree AV block. بنسميه هذا ترايفاسكولر بلوك طبعا كل ما البلوكس تزيد كل ما هذا المريض راح يكون اكثر عرضه انه يساعد ذا كومبليت هارت بلوك
Now we come to the carotid sinus hypersensitivity. مثل ما تعرفون اكو الكاروتيد ساينس اللي هو الساينس كاروتيكس موجود بال the carotid body at the bifurcation or the the beginning of the bifurcation of the carotid common carotid artery. Okay. هذا يعني يعني there are many 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 parasympathetic stimulus parasympathetic nuclei are present here. And when the patient has a hypersensitive carotid sinus, this will lead to more vagal tone and more parasympathetic overflow into uh, the patient, and the patient will present with symptoms of cardiac arrest. So, at home, sinus arrest or severe bradycardia. Will be able to have signs of bradyarrhythmia, which is arrest and syncope. Either it can be cardio inhibitory. يعني manifestations like bradycardia or IV block or uh, it will present with a vasodepressive uh, symptoms يعني يصير عندهم hypotension فأيضاً يكون عندهم cardio inhibitory process or it's not عندهم hypotension okay واحدة منهم أو مرات ثانية تنسوا يصير how we diagnose this carotid sinus disease the carotid sinus disease طبعاً carotid sinus hypersensitivity نشوفها وين موجودة أكثر شيء نشوفها بالمرضى It pain, يعني clinically, مثلاً يقول لك I mean when he's shaving, for example, by the symptoms when he's shaving, he will come to the neck with the razor, okay, and and cause stimulation of the carotid body, okay. We say يقول لك ديزين وعلى غفلة وقع وطاح ليش لأنه الشفرة من توصل لي من الكاروتيد بادي أوكي أو من السكين كأنما ده يضغط عليها هذا من يضغط عليها يصير فد نوع من ال من stimulation the carotid body which is all uh, which is uh, which is uh, already hypersensitive leading to parasympathetic overflow and the patient will fall back to the ground because of syncope or sometimes at winter when he uh, when he uh, wears a high neck uh, sweater okay blues and rugby يلبسها راح تضغط على المكان او مكان الرقبه اللي هي بها الكاروتيد بودي وتسوينا السيمتومز اللي هي either cardio inhibitory or vasodepressive هاي طبعا from the history you can pick up these important points uh, to diagnose this how we diagnose this either we, there is a positive cardio inhibitory response uh, which is defined as a sinus pause of three seconds or more هذا شو نسوي يعني نخلي المريض نايم نشكل على اي سي جي مونيتور and we do carotid sinus massage تذكرون من بالاس في تي نسوي carotid sinus massage We try to stimulate the cardiac uh, carotid body. When there is a pause of three seconds or more, we can diagnose this is a positive cardio inhibitory response, or a positive vasodepressive response, vasodepressive response, which is defined as a fall in systolic blood pressure of more than 50 millimeter uh, mercury. Okay, يعني لو بوت ضغط ما تر 50 millimeter mercury أو أكثر ونسمي هذا vasodepressive response. Either this or the cardio inhibitor response, and we can the carotid sinus hypersensitivity. Treatment of carotid sinus hypersensitivity is pyramid pacemaker. Because it's not clear when it's going to be used in the shower, when it's going to be used in the shower, when it's going to be used in the shower, when it's going to be used in the shower, على غفلة يصير عنده كولابس ويوقع وهاي تتكرر حالة ممكن فلازم نحل المسألة ونخلي له فد اكسترا باتري ان هيز بودي اوكي ان اذر تو وين ذا بيشنت هاز ذيس ساينس بوز ذيس باتري ويل اكت اند اند ليد تو ذا ابوليشمنت اوف اني برادي كارديا سيمتومز ذا فيزو فيجل سينكوب أعتقد تعرفون فيزو فيجو سينكوب اللي هو نيرو كارديوجينيك سينكوب. This is usually triggered by a reduction in the venous return due to prolonged standing or excessive heat or large meal or any painful or unpleasant stimuli like physical or emotional. Uh, مثلا اكو تشوفون قدام من اكو واحد من يوقف هواي مثلا بسرعه مثلا او يوقف شوفوا يخرب دكتور دخت انا حوقع اطيح او مثلا سمع فد خبر مو زين او خبر محزن او فد موقف قدامه مرعب مثلا اوكي راح يصير عنده نوع من الاغماء يخرب مثلا تخرب روحه احنا نسمي بالعامي اوكي هذا هو الفيزو فيجل سينكوب راح نشوفه اكثر بالفيميلز اكثر من الميلز والدايجنوزز طبعا ما راح نحكي لكم الميكانيزم اوكي اكيد هاي تسوي فيزو فيجل سينكوب Basal jarish reflex. So it's all about this reflex. 
which is characterized by initial sympathetic activation of the heart that it leads to vigorous contraction of the relatively underfilled ventricle sympathetic activation because of this fear أو سماع فد كلمة مو حلوة أو فد موقف مو حلو مثلا تأثر بنفسية الشخص راح يصير sympathetic activation leading to vigorous contraction of this relatively underfilled ventricle. This will stimuli, stimulate the ventricular mechanoreceptors and produce parasympathetic activation. Okay? And sympathetic withdrawal فراح تنسحب السمباثيك ويجي الباراسمباثيك. الباراسمباثيك شو يسوينا؟ يسوينا براديكارديا So in a vasodilatation or both. For this, a cardio inhibitory or a vasopressor response. Okay, واضح هسه شباب. هذا هو كل ما يتعلق بالبيزولد جارش ريفلكس. ثم طبعا العلماء اسمع علماء اللي اكتشفوا هذا الريفلكس اللي يؤدي إلى الفيزوفيجال سينكوب. هذا طبعا البرين ستيم تشوفون هنا أنا. Exaggerated sympathetic activation leading to activation. Uh, or circulating hypovolemia okay خاصةً إذا يوقف الشمس هواي وهم يسوي عنا hypovolemia راح يؤدي إلى activation of the ventricular efferents to the goes to the brainstem the brainstem will order the sympathetic system to withdraw okay and increase the vagal tone leading to bradycardia and uh, vasal hypotension and syncope okay but sympathetic withdrawal راح يسوي عنا vasodilatation يسوي عنا hypotension Will increase in the vagal tone, will cause the bradycardia. For I said, either cardio inhibitory, I said bradycardia, pause more than three seconds diagnostic, or it's when I had hypotension more than 50 millimeter mercury. Okay, we had a syncope. The diagnosis of uh, this is by Hill head tilt test. How the head tilt test is the Marie at the basic vagal syncope. خلوه مثل هذا الجهاز تقريبا 75 ديجري مثل ما تشوفون هنا أنا. اوكي ويقيسون الضغط مالته ويشوفوا اذا يهبط ولا لا ويحطوا على اي سي جي مونيتور ويشوفون اذا اكو اني ديفرنس ان ذس اوكي الكلينيك فيجرز حكي انا اعتقد البوزيتيف تيست اوف ذس هيلث تيل تيست هيد تيلت تيست is characterized by either profound bradycardia, which is due to cardio inhibitor response, or hypotension, uh, vasodepressive response that is associated with typical symptoms. But the symptoms might be typical to sinus hypersensitivity, but the condition that is different from it, in that this has a with emotional or physical uh, stimulus, okay? الفير التايردنس السماء خبر غير سار بينما ذاك لا ذاك له علاقه بالدايركت كونتاكت وذ 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 كاروتيد بودي اوكي بس هي تقريبا ذا سيم سيمتومز هم كارديو انهبيتوري اند فازو ديبريسر سيمتومز تريتمنت از تو افويد سيرتن بودي مانوفرز نقول له لا يوقف هواي اقعد اقعد شوي ارتاح يلا تقوم مثلا Compressive stockings, you best have rigid hat that side a little venous return to the heart. Medications that we use sometimes is called beta blockers to increase the over sympathetic over sympathetic over drive at the beginning. Midodrine that will lead to vaso vaso constriction. It is an alpha one agonist. Or desipramide, it will decrease the vagal tone and the vagal effect. And decrease the hypotension and the bradycardia. Afu, fludrocortisone is a type of steroid also that will lead to uh, sodium and salt retention, that will increase in the body uh, water. Okay, and uh, at the at the end, the dual chamber pacemaker is sometimes uh, a treatment if these medications are not of benefit. يعني نقول للمريض لا يوقف هواي مثلاً تسمع خبر غير غير سار. اقعد من تحس نفسك دايخ اقعد لا تقوم مثلا اشرب مي هواي البس الكومبرسيف ستوكينجز هاي الجواريب او تاخذ هاي الميديكيشنز اللي اذا نشوفها قدامنا تقدرون بعدين تطلعون عليها وتشوفون وات ار ذا افكت اوف ذيس ميديكيشنز يو كان جو اند ريد ات ان اذر سورسز 
and references. This is a, a summary of uh, syncope uh, according to the age, Kulmakan uh, younger age, infectable vasovagal, infectable situational, psychiatric, long QT syndrome, Brogata syndrome, WPW syndrome, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, catecholinergic VT, and allergenic syndromes. So, I'm young patients, being being worked out. But in our old patients, acocardiac causes like me mechanical problems, like uh, uh, mechanical due to heart failure or arrhythmic. Arrhythmic, for example, the patient has a scar in the heart because of MI or uh, cardiomyopathy, orthostatic hypotension due to um, poor autonomic symptoms or it is a function of or uh, taking extra drugs of that cause hypotension, drug induced, uh, neurally mediated, and multifactorial. Now we come to the pacemakers. Channel temporary, channel permanent, but نحكي شوي أكثر هنا. Temporary pacemaker uh, is used when the patient has a transient AV block complicating acute MI or cardiac surgery. Okay. It, uh, we use it usually in rever reversible bradycardia due to metabolic disturbance of drug overdose, and sometimes you can use it as a bridge to permanent pacemaker. يعني نحتاج إحنا permanent pacemaker. بس ما عندنا موجود حاليا بسوى او باخر نخلي temporary pacemaker على ما يحصل لنا هذا permanent ونحط permanent pacemaker either مثل ما قلنا either it is transcutaneous or transvenous pacing how transcutaneous نشوف هنا الباتش هنا على الجست transcutaneous وموصول الى هذا generator يعطي pulses or transvenous مثل ما قلنا يوصل عن طريق ال venous system to the right atrium and to the right ventricle. Bainamal permanent pacemaker who a jihaz, shufun had al jihaz ma'adani in zira tahti al-jilid subcutaneously at the left pectoral or the right pectoral according to yani hasab technical issues. We put a lead here that reaches to the right ventricle and another lead to the right atrium. It is important to to uh, to pace both the atrium and the ventricle at the same time because if we just pace the ventricle, uh, the atrium will not function well because if you are pacing the ventricle regardless of the timing with the atrium. So we want to we want to uh, synchronize the atrium and we don't want to throw out the cardiac output uh, coming from the right atrium because it's important. So we have to synchronize the atrial contraction with the ventricle contraction in order to uh, simulate a normal heartbeat. Okay, normal heartbeat it comes from the atrium and ventricle. So, we don't need to reduce the volume of the atrium. But if it's possible, the atrium is working and there is no problem, let the atrial beat here until uh, it adjusts to the normal beat. We move it to the right ventricle. We do a beating to the right ventricle, like a normal heart. This is a pacemaker here, generator. Uh, you can see here how they are uh, connected to the lead here. This is a lead, the ventricle lead. This is the uh, this is sorry the atrial pace, pacing. The atrial pacing. We are leading here in the right atrium. Okay, in the lateral and AP view. And this is the ventricle pacing. Okay, it's not very clear I think here, but here it's more clear. Ventricle pacing. And this is dual pacing. يعني أكو عندنا right atrium pacing here and right ventricle pacing here. Okay. So whenever it's possible, it is better to put a dual pacing in the patient who have who is need for pacemaker. Why it is better? مثل ما قلنا. Because they want to do. We want to keep on the synchrony between the atrium and the ventricle. And the indications of the permanent pacemaker, it's for you to remind me or to tell me, okay, what are the indications I just uh, mentioned at the beginning of the pacemakers when uh, this is on you. Uh, this is an implantable cardiac defibrillator. This is a pacemaker. But it has another benefit, which is that it is واضخم من البيسميكر بيسميكر يكون اصغر هذا نستخدمه في المريض اللي عنده فيتال فيتال اريثميز لايك في تي ار في اف وممكن المريض مثلا 
او ممكن المريض يساعد فيتال ارثميز لايك في اف ان في تي بيكوز he has a normal uh, heart function he has cardiac cardiomyopathy or heart failure or pre previous myocardial infarction is in risk of developing uh, vt and vf we put this impl um, implantable cardiac def defibrillator where uh, under the skin at the same can man نفس الطريقه اللي نزرع بها الفيس ميكر انزرع بس على فائدته انه وان the patient is developing uh, a fatal arrhythmia like vt and vf and he collapses down and there is no medical uh, uh, assistance nearby to him, it will act as a sa lifesaver, okay? Because it will sense these abnormal uh, rhythms and give a shock to the patient. Can a DC shock to the patient? بحيث يحمي يحمي من الوفاة المفاجئة. فهذا هذا هذا جهاز جدا مهم. نستخدمه اللي patient اللي عنده genetic arrhythmias like long QT, Brugada syndrome. كاتيكولينرجيك في تي فور اكزامبل او نستخدم المريض اللي صاعد ذا في تي بوست مايكارديو فاكشن 40 دايز بوست مايكارديو فاكشن اور بيشنت ذس از كولد سكندري بريفنشن وان ذا بيشنت هاز فينتيكول تيكاردييا اند وي ونت تو بوت ان اي سي دي فور هيم تو بريفنت اور تو 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 نوت تو بريفنت تو نوت بريفنت فينتيكول تيكاردييا بات ات ويل تريت ذا فينتيكول تيكاردي وان وان ايفر ات اوكيرز اوكي So we call this secondary prevention. Well, primary prevention is when the, we put a, a, an ICD into the patient who has not developed yet VT or VF, but he is at risk of developing VT and VF. So we put this and we call this primary prevention. Okay, we have to know the difference between these. So this is primary prevention. استخدم المريض اللي ما صار عده بس نتوقع يصير عده بينما secondary prevention خلي المريض صاير عده ونخليه حتى يحميه من يعني هو مات فجأة ولحقوا له وعاش وانت وجالك انت تحط له ان اي سي دي حتى يو بريفنت ذس ذس ليثل اريثميا فروم اوكورينج فروم فروم ميكينج هيم داي ان ذا فيوتشر هذا هو الاي سي دي شوفون انه شلون الريبورت مالته يشوف شلون فيري فيري رابيد اريثمياز هير اوكي اند ذيرز ا شوك هير A shock here, turning back the the sinus uh, rhythm here. Okay, so this is a VT, and this is sinus rhythm after shock, طبعاً, of the instrument. By here, I finished uh, my lecture. I hope you have uh, learned from this. Okay, and I'm ready. I, I'm sorry that I could not give it to you live because uh, shortage of the time, the schedule, jam of the schedule of the uh, of the lectures. But I, uh, I'm ready. If you have any question uh, offline, you can ask me, come to me, or call me, whenever you, whatever you like. Okay, and thank you for listening.